She is, uh, I don't want to say a future leader because she's leading right now. And it is an honor, such an honor, to, uh, to introduce her to you all. So please give a very, very, very warm welcome for Miss, she's 12 years old, she's 12 years old by the way. Please give it up for Haley Thomas. Um, in front of incredibly impressive individuals and to share a platform on, I mean, with world-renowned leaders. It's truly amazing for me. To start, really, how did this happen? Um, you know, why am I here? Well, on the surface, it might seem that I'm here because I'm the 12-year-old founder of the Happy Organization, which is partnered with the YWCA in Tucson. Arizona, where I'm from. The goal is really to educate, inspire, and motivate the kids down there to really, um, for them and their families, to embrace lifelong healthy habits. Other than that, um, maybe because I've spoken at um, major events in an effort to inspire adults to get kids involved in these kind of movements um, and to help with childhood obesity, or maybe it's because I work with Hyatt Hotels and I help create um, our Four Kids by Kids menu, which is a healthier, more fun, um, fresh, flavorful, and sophisticated menu item, which is served um, annually to two million kids. All of those reasons are pretty great and have contributed to me having a place on this stage. But when I think why I'm here, um, what really comes to mind is that my parents, they support and encourage everything I do. And um, you know, ever since I was five years old, on my first day of kindergarten, um, my parents told me, be a leader. That's my foundation, and so through love, support, encouragement, um, you know, I've had a very amazing journey coming to the Stages and Scientists Symposium, um, which I'd love to share with you all today. Now, starting on that first day of kindergarten and continuing today, um, my mother is a constant supporter of all of my efforts, um, my projects, ideas, and lots of travel. Um, she's by my side with uplifting words of encouragement and support, and I couldn't thank her enough. Um, and of course, constructive feedback. <laughs> um, my dad, he also delivers his own special um, encouragement. He, he usually downplays the gravity of any given situation, and that helps me a lot. So he, he says, oh, that's nothing, you can do it, and um, that pushes me even further. So basically, I believe my parents at a very early age that I could make a difference in this world, but also that no situation or occasion is too big for me to handle. And that belief made it possible for me to embrace all the opportunities that um, followed. That foundation, um, in 2010, after completing a Girls Making Media workshop, um, the director of the program advised for me to do something in the media. And I sat and I thought about it for a while. I was only about nine, so, you know. <laughs> I, was, I was pretty new to the social media world, but um, <laughs> I decided to kind of combine um, two of my passions. Well, one, my new passion, social media, and cooking. And from that, my sister Nia and I created Kids Can Cook, which was an online video cooking show that we were so excited to share with the world. I mean, at that time, the world wasn't exactly watching, but our friends and family believed that one day the world would really watch. Let's see, in my family, cooking at home is so normal for us, eating dinner together, and, um, you know, my mom taught my sister and I to really go ahead and help yourselves in the kitchen. And that was at a pretty early age. And it's something we love doing together. And we thought that showing that kids can cook would be really appealing to kids and their families. So my mom, with her little camcorder, would um, go around in the kitchen and record. My sister and I make a variety of meals. And we posted the videos on Facebook. And we got great reviews from friends and family. And we were just having a great time. Um, you know, we went on for a while, and eventually we got a YouTube channel and a website, and eventually built a little bit more followers. Eventually, my mom found out about Food Inc. and um, other amazing um, documentaries that taught my sister and I about 
the declining um, state of American nutrition. And at just five and nine years old, my sister and I were already learning about GMOs and the inhumane treatment of animals and, um, you know, that we need to eat healthier overall. And so we quit going to fast food restaurants. We said bye to the chicken nuggets um, and the cheeseburgers. And um, after we started trying to buy more organic food and using veggies and overall our cooking show even began to change and that was great you know we used more vegetables making smoothies all the time we were smoothie addicts but that was a good thing um, and from that you know we were able to reach out to kids and say hey here's a healthy tip get cooking and use healthy ingredients as well and we discovered the Alliance for a healthier generation which I spoke a little bit about earlier and my life really changed overnight. Their whole goal is really to reduce the prevalence of childhood obesity and to and it really has helped me so much. I have awesome mentors who are always supporting what I want to do and I'm very grateful for the Alliance and all of the um, other Youth Advisory Board members. They're doing great things as well. So being on the Youth Advisory Board, I founded, or yeah, created, um, the Healthy Girl Adventures Club, which was my first project. And it was an online website that basically told girls to go on there and um, encourage each other to make healthy choices and share their stories. And um, basically inspire each other to get healthy. So that went on for a while, and um, I tried, once again, using social media, which I wasn't quite familiar with, but I did that. And then I created um, a health festival, festival um, Global Youth Service Day, and um, I partnered with, for the past few years I've partnered with the University of Arizona Medical Center, the Grow to Be Fit Foundation, and the Tucson Village Farm. And they're all amazing community supporters and have helped me so much throughout my journey. And I was also inspired to do my first ever um, TEDx talk and I traveled to Vancouver with my dad, and this was in 2010 as well, so a lot happened that year. Um, and basically my speech was called, There's a Gourmet Chef in Every Child, which is totally true. Um, and that was a great experience as well. And you know, the Alliance has also given me the opportunity to um, speak at the Partnership for Healthier America Summit, and the Clinton um, Foundation's Health Matters Conference, where I um, met and sat on a panel with Dr. Chopra, and that was amazing. And it brought me to this incredible stage. And, um, you know, my passion has even taken me to the White House five times, not bragging, but I'm just saying. Um, I have the great honor of introducing the first lady at the second annual Kids Day Dinner, and back in February, I um, was sat as her guest in the, um, at the State of the Union, representing Let's Move. Now, these were all spectacular experiences and opportunities to engage my peers and inspire them as well, not only to embrace healthy habits, but to go fearlessly in the direction of their dreams and to let their passion lead the way. Now, I am here with all of you in this incredible space, and I feel so honored and grateful to be able to share my passion for helping to educate my peers about ways to cook and eat healthily and get more physical, physical activity. And I'm humbled because with support from my peers, my school, family, friends, and community partners, I am able to make a difference in this world. So, the heart of my message is, my journey is a testament to the power of inspiring and supporting children. And by speaking here today, I hope to make Dr. Chopra proud and happy that he invited me here to speak, and, but mainly to inspire adults to find ways to engage, support, motivate, and instill in young people the belief that we can do anything, that we can lead, that we can inspire, and that we have an important voice. And finally, that we can help transform the world. Thank you, everyone, and thank you, Dr. Baby's mother, please come to the stage.
Health Matters Conference, uh, I had a conversation with President Clinton, who you know is amazing in that he has changed his lifestyle, reversed his heart disease and so on. But President Clinton said, if um, anyone can help eliminate childhood obesity in their generation, and all the things that go with it, diabetes and all the other epidemics, it's going to be Haley Thomas.